Huh. Um, yeah. Yesterday's the 400 I am, so it was my first one ever in five years. Uh, my thinking kind of behind doing it was just to see where I'm at. Um, haven't really been preparing, I've been more preparing for the 200 I am, so that was definitely apparent <laughs> in my races. Um, but it was good for me mentally to just kind of do that and just see where I'm at. And, you know, and once the uh, college season is over, we'll start training long course, and I think that'll help. But I think if anything, it just helps my turn to die on, which is my main focus. Mm -hmm. Let's go into your health history, because you've been battling some things over um, the last year. Mm -hmm. You had the two blood clots in your lungs, and you withdrew from Worlds, so yeah. how are you dealing with that now? Um, it's actually this is the first meet um, where I really don't feel it at all, um, which is great. Uh, Minnesota Grand Prix, I scratched the last day just because I was having each, after each race, I was just dying for air and not in like a normal post-race way. Um, so yeah, even after the 400 I am, I was able to catch my breath and um, so that's just a really big positive from this meet and ever since, I would say, Right after Christmas is when it really started. I just started feeling normal and better and better each week. So that's been awesome. What were your symptoms? How were, how'd you realize you were having these issues? Well, it started in at nationals this summer. Um, I only swam the prelims of the 100 free. Um, and I at that point, I was getting stabbing pains in my rib area and spasms. And then I went through about six weeks where it was really them thinking I had pneumonia and like an intercostal strain and it took them to finally do a CAT scan to, and then I was immediately admitted to the hospital um, and then they're like oh you have two blood clots that's why you couldn't breathe this whole time <laughs> like makes sense oh, so wow and so the road to recovery is kind of you're just now kind of feeling back to normal yeah it's been really long and drawn out and frustrating just because they, because the blood clots were in there for about six weeks without me knowing, um, it created a lot of scar tissue. So I'm on blood thinners now, but because there was so much scar tissue, they just were like, well, it's just gonna take time, it's gonna take time, and of course I'm like, well, I don't have time. <laughs> so it's just been kind of a slow process of just letting my body kind of clear it out, and I think, you know, so we're, they say six months, and we're past that at that point, and that's when it really started getting better. So. Yeah. So kind of moving forward now, like what meets do you have planned? Um, I'll definitely be going to Mesa, um, and then I think Charlotte for sure. Um, and then my big one this summer will be Nationals um, in San Antonio. So When you've had such a long career and then you took a break and made your comeback at Mesa, and then you're hit with this pretty big obstacle, yeah. what straight keeps you going rather than just for most people probably just want to throw in the towel. Sure. How do you keep moving forward past now this health issue and trying to stay on that road to 2016? Yeah, I mean, I won't lie. There was a couple times where I was like, what am I doing? Like, I should just call it, call it a day right here. Um, but I think the main thing that kept me going was just knowing how ready and excited I felt before nationals last summer. And, you know, I really believe that I can bring that back again and I really was having fun and enjoying racing again and that's the whole purpose of all of this and I think that I didn't want to just call it quits and then miss out on that so that's the main thing. And you came in fifth in the two breasts? The this morning, the yeah I was happy with that. Um, it's a good, it, was a, it was a weird prelim. Um, my, I got third in my heat but I was fifth overall and um, it was a solid, solid time for me, and um, I was happy to kind of bounce back after being kind of frustrated with my 400 last night. So, uh, moving forward to like just the rest of the season in the summer. Um, so, like, what events are you thinking about? Um, for sure, the two free and the 200 I am. Um, mm -hmm. That's kind of my two main focus. Even though they both fall on the same day at trials, so <laughs> that's kind of annoying. But uh, it's definitely going to be those two, and then. You know, my breast strokes have been kind of coming along, so 100, 200 breast. Mm -hmm. um, 400 IM, we'll see. It's more on the back burner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, like, since your comeback, um, has there been, like, differences from your swimming from when you swam before and when you swim now, just, like, mentally, physically? Yeah, I mean, physically, I think um, I've focused a lot more on nutrition, so I think, like, right now I'm probably – probably the leanest I've been in like a really long time. Um, I think I'm just more aware of recovering and you know, I'm just, you know, a more, I guess, mature swimmer. Um, and 
I'm really making sure I'm doing the little things to help myself recover. I'm getting up there, I'm 25, so I gotta start doing that stuff. How's it been training in Miami? It's awesome. Um, it's always sunny, which is great, so you can't ever be too upset even if you're having a rough workout. Um, and I, I love I love Andy Kershaw. He's awesome. Just the perfect coach for me at this point. You know, he's we have a very good working relationship, and you know I don't need some coach yelling at me. You know, I'm obviously self motivated, and um, it's been really refreshing to kind of be in that very positive environment. So. Can you talk about the training environment a little bit? Um, in terms of just uh, just like the team, what the, what practices are like? Yeah, I mean the team is um, is building. Um, I mean, I'm on Hurricane Aquatics, but um, I'm you know around those girls, and it's been kind of fun for me because they're all you know some of them are seven years younger than me, and to see them you know going through their freshman year of college and learning how to train and learning how to descend and. Um, it's kind of I feel like I've kind of taken on a role of you know helping a little bit and helping them learn and um, that's been pretty rewarding for me just because it's kind of a different different role that I've never been used to before so any chance of coach Hoff in the future yeah. I don't know if I have enough patience to be a coach I think I would like be yelling and stuff and I hate that so I would never want to turn into that person um, but no I don't think so I think I love doing clinics and helping kids and develop and grow, but I, I don't think coaching is my calling. Do you, do you think you've learned anything major from the younger swimmers you've been swimming with? Um, I think, I know I really learned a lot when I went on my Dubai trip um, with the junior team. Um, I think, I mean, that's the whole, that's one of the things that launched me to come back, um, just their excitement and just um, genuine um, passion. passion, yeah, genuine passion to you know, race and be there and um, that's very infectious and I think that's something that I really took with me going into the last couple of years. And are you still in school? No, I am done. I graduated uh, in June from University of Miami. So. Any plans for this career or life wise? Um, I don't know. I've had a couple things um, that I've been interested in but I think I'm just trying to focus on now until 16 and then, you know, then focus on that next chapter. So. Perfect. Good job, Speaking. Yeah.